Hello, I'm Tim Crow. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on, Lewis? Norwich City Central, and welcome back to another video reflecting on Norwich City's really, really pleasing pre season performance against Luton Town. It ended Luton Town 1, Norwich City 5, and Norwich City beating the second biggest team in East Anglia. Um, yeah, really, really pleased, um, and yeah, can't wait for the season to start now. Uh, buying the away Premier membership, and I'm delighted to get a ticket for Liverpool away, so I can't wait to go to Liverpool away and vlog the game, and I'm just really excited to create content, but more importantly, be there. Um, it's going to be a great feeling going to the Champions of Europe, and who knows, Norwich City may be able to spring a massive surprise. Uh, and yeah, the channel will be a mixture of vlogging and reporting next season. Um, it's not feasible for me to get to every single home and away game, uh, like some people do as much as I would like to. So yeah, uh, it's going to be a mixture of you know videos like this, reporting and then vlogs as well. But let me know down below in the comments or on social media what kind of videos would you like to see next season. Whether that be be like reporting, um, obviously the vlogs, I'll be definitely doing them. But do you want to see like social media reactions, player ratings, or you know crowd cam stuff like that? What would you like to see? But um, was this preseason game a success? Yeah, I would say so. Obviously, Norwich City put in a really good performance. Um, but I judge whether a preseason game is a success based upon if there's any injuries. And Grant Hanley did look like he picked up a little bit of a knock. I think he's going to be. I don't think it looks too serious, so we'll have to wait and see how that one comes. And uh, Buendia and Puki didn't start this game as well. They were carrying slight injuries, and uh, you know, Timmy Puki and Emi Buendia are probably our two most influential players. So hopefully they'll be okay and ready to go for the next uh, well for Liverpool away. Um, Emi Buendia has been playing with a slight knock in Germany, and he did get a knock in the open uh, training session on Friday. But hopefully he's going to be okay, and I'm confident he will be. But on this game, a really good performance. Norwich City tore Luton apart in the first 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, really, really pleasing. A goal from a corner, uh, Marco Stupeman. I can't wait to see how he does in the Premier League next season. He's a very unorthodox number 10, isn't he? But it's nice to see him tap home from a corner. And Norris City made it 2-0 in just the seventh minute as well. Josip Djuric um, scoring. I expect Josip Djuric to be Norris City's second-choice striker next season. And yeah, I'm really excited to see how he does. Um, he, he fits like the transfer policy perfectly, doesn't he, from Stuart Webber. Stuart Webber loves to sign people who have got players who have had high potential, but for whatever reasons in their career, haven't worked out. And Josip Djuric, a few years ago, was one of the Bundesliga's best strikers, and hopefully he can replicate that form for Norwich City. And then we made it 3-0 as well, Josip Djuric scoring again, Campwell having a shot saved, and uh, Josip Djuric putting the ball into the empty net. And after 15 minutes, the game kind of looked over, Norwich City playing with a lot of intensity, um, great movement and that's what I love about Norwich City and I can't wait to see them next season because we play we're, we're not a Burnley we're not like a Brighton under Chris Hewitt and we, we might get thrashed a few times but we play football in the right way we play attacking great football and I can't wait to see how Daniel Farkas tactics do in the Premier League um, but Luton did uh, score making it 3-1 and the one <laughs> you can't my one concern with Norwich City and Daniel Farker is set pieces last season I remember we played Preston in February and um during that time, Norwich City has conceded the most set pieces out of any team in the division, which is quite bizarre considering you know we were towards the top at that stage. And then, I don't know whether we conceded the most goals in the division by the time the season ended, but I can remember you know conceding a few more like at Stoke away and places like that. So, you know, even though Norwich City won the league last season, set pieces was what they were kind of one area of and literally the only area of um, concern. And um, yeah, another set piece goal conceded against Luton. I know we conceded a, a set piece goal against. Brentford in the uh, closed door friendly, so that's a slight concern. But um, hopefully Daniel Farker can adapt to it because teams in the pre you know Premier League, uh, you know teams really are good at utilising set pieces, and a set piece can be the difference between winning a game and losing a game. Just one set piece. So hopefully we'll be okay. And yes, my only concern regarding our defensive fragility is we then made it four one. Josh Durant scoring in the 40th minute to give Norwich City a four one lead just before half time. Um, as for a corner as well so Norwich City can score corners but defending them is another matter and then the second half we played some good stuff and Patrick Roberts oh my word what a player he's going to be for Norwich City I can't wait to see you know Buendia Patrick Roberts Ono Hernandez these are such exciting players who are going to come with flair creativity and yeah Patrick Roberts scoring from 20-25 yards out the highlight should be on the uh, Norwich City YouTube page um, possibly tomorrow um, as of recording the video but you know you got to check out that goal because Patrick Roberts, 20-25 yards out, an absolute banger into the top corner. And I can't wait to see how he adjusts to life in the Premier League. Obviously, not having a successful season last season out abroad, but you know Patrick Roberts was very good at Celtic, and um, you know he's still a Man City player, and you know he's a, he's a player with huge potential, and hopefully Norwich City can unlock that. But overall, a really impressive 5-1 win against Luton Town. 
And um, yeah, I can't wait to see how Norwich City uh, adapt to the Premier League. Less than two weeks to go now. Liverpool away, I cannot wait. And uh, I cannot wait for the season to get started. So thanks for watching. That's my match reflection as Norwich City beat East Anglia's second biggest team, 5-1.